the Father, and of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, one true God. Amen. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory forever. I hope this message finds you safe, secure, and well. As we approach the incarnation of our Lord, the nativity of our Savior Jesus Christ, I offer us a moment to think about our outlook on life and the way we approach it. And there's three ways we can look at life. One is a way that we look backwards. We look at our experiences, both good and bad, and allow them to shape who we are today and predict who we are going to be in the future. You also can be a person who is very much forward thinking, always looking to the possibilities ahead and to see what lies uh, in front of you. The last group of people are those who are steadfast in the present, not focused on the future or the past, but really being present today. In today's lesson, I want to focus on those of us who really look backwards and use that experience, both negative and positive, to shape who we are going to be and actually do today and in the future. And to say that while every experience that we go through are valuable and that we want to do our best, God calls us not based upon our historical um, actions, whether good or bad. God calls us both amazing and terrible people in the same way. He calls us through mercy. And we'll dig into this in today's episode through St. Paul's letter to Galatians, chapter 1, verses 11 through 15. And it reads as so. But I make known to you, brethren, that the gospel which was preached by me is not according to man. For I neither received it from man, nor was I taught it, but it came through the revelation of Jesus Christ. For you have heard of my my former conduct in Judaism, how I persecuted the church of God beyond measure and tried to destroy it. And I advanced in Judaism beyond many of my contemporaries in my own nation, being more exceedingly zealous for the traditions of my fathers. But when it pleased God, who separated me from my mother's womb and called me through his grace to reveal his son in me that I might preach him among the Gentiles, I did not immediately confer with flesh and blood. Nor did I go up to Jerusalem to those who were apostles before me, but I went to Arabia and returned again to Damascus. Again, verse number 15. But when it pleased God, who separated me from my mother's womb and called me through his grace. Jesus took the opportunity to call St. Paul a destroyer of the church, one who was very smart one who was very learned in Judaism and used him to call him out for his purpose, God's purpose. And the way he called him out was through a revelation of Jesus Christ, an encounter with him that ultimately changed his trajectory almost completely. His life was leading in one way, a scholar of the rabbinic tradition, of the Judean tradition. But when he encountered Christ through the work of Ananias, his life moved and changed. We think that God calls us because of our successes, the things that are on our resume, But rather, God calls all of us because, number one, he loves each of us. So much so because we are created in his image. He separated you from your mother's womb. And he calls you out through grace. If you are a person who who is a backwards thinker or looks back historically and says that history is a predictor of future, there is some truth to that. But do not take too much stock on the past because 
an encounter with Christ can change you completely that the experiences that you had in the past may prove to be irrelevant in your own terms. But know that God, who shaped us before we were in the womb, knows who we are and can change you, can shift your focus and call you to something greater. If you are a forward thinker, also remind yourselves that ultimately, today, God is calling you for a purpose. To remain present and steadfast and close to Christ so that you can walk in lockstep with Him. Cling to Him, be with Him, and work with Him in His vineyard. To be still and know that He is your God is extremely challenging when our mind wanders from the past and to the future. But my friends, if you are overwhelmed by either trajectory and direction in time, know that God can keep you still and in the present so that you can do the work that he is calling you to do. Are you willing to accept his calling? Are you willing to be still? And if not, then pray that God reveals this to you. May God's power strengthen you. May he change you. And may this encounter, especially during this season of nativity, impact you so that ultimately you can witness the gospel in your own life and to the lives of others. To all is due glory and honor to the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, unto ages of ages. Amen.